Wow. Mark's fixing his hair. <laughs> along with along with Martha. He has some hair. <laughs> All right. Well, Mike Ballard, if you want to try to log out and log back in, other than that, I don't know how to get the video to work for you. Okay. It says, it says it's on on my end. Um, well, let me try. Okay. And then um, I'm ready whenever you are, Bill, to begin the okay. meeting. Just, just quickly, hey, right. hey, uh, yeah. Jen, are we live to everyone else yet? Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll just make my motion then okay. when, once we get started. All right. I'd like to call this meeting of the Historic District Commission to order. It is... Um, January 24th, uh, 2022. Um, after, the, after the presentation by the applicant, members of the public will have two opportunities to speak on agenda items. The chair will ask if anyone from public has any questions of the application as in, as in attempting to understand the project. After the questions are closed, Chair will ask um, if anyone from the public has comments. Members of the public will have up to three minutes per person to comment. Comments should be limited to the exterior design of a building and site. Comments will not be allowed on the interior design of the use of the, or the use of the project. Thank you for participating. So the first item on the agenda is a sign application by O'Neill, uh, Evan O'Neill, plot six, lot 11, uh, 472 Town, Old Town Road, application for sign. Hi. I someone from... Uh, I don't know if anybody can hear me or see me, can you? I can. Okay, yeah, can. Great. I'm Erin O'Neill um, at 472 Old Town Road. So I am applying for a sign for the uh, front of my house. Okay. So I um, submitted a picture of hopefully what it would look like um, and, and the um, proposed measurements and colors and a picture of the of a sign that I want it to look like um, from the Hygia house. Does everybody have the application? Yes. There's so many of them at this point, I'm trying to get sorted out. I'm running over this afternoon. All right. Aaron, is the coloring going to be the same as the Hygia? Are you essentially just looking for an identical to that sign? I would like it to be kind of identical to that sign, but the coloring would not, not be the same. I would I want to do a navy blue background sign with white letters. Okay. Just wanted to clarify that. Sure. And the sign is going to be in front of the uh, in front of the 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 uh, Columns. Uh, it won't. Go, it won't go as far as the column. No. Will it be in front of it? Um. Well, it's going to hang down from the soffit. So yes, in front of the columns. So in effect, it'll obliterate some of the scroll work that's on the columns. Um. I think it might. Yes, but I'm also applying to switch out the 
scroll work. So Yeah, I'm signing the application was signed. Sorry? Because I found the application. Now, the sign is um, identical to the one that was there that said Hygieia House. Well, I just attached the Hygieia House as an example. That's the, the kind of the exact sign that I want, like the same kind of letters and the same shape. But different colors. Exactly. It's a different building. Right, it's a different building. So essentially the same font, you're looking for the same font, you're not gonna do the gold inlay, um, you want it in white. Right. Um, and it would, I would assume have the same trim um, as the yeah. idea. It's like the same kind of shape as that, yes. Shape, trim, and font. Correct. What's what's going to keep this sign from swinging in the wind? Because it's way out in front of the columns. The one of the Hygieia houses between the columns. One at Hygieia is actually hard mounted. Um, there's two by four behind it. You can see it if you look real close in the picture. There's three yeah. two by fours hanging Hygieia, down. Right. But there isn't here. I'm, I'm assuming they would hang it so that it. I don't, I don't know. It's per, it's, it's permanent, uh, not hanging from my hooks and chain. Correct. Just making sure we get all that for the record. Yeah, sure. Gonna hang. Any other questions? Yeah, I have one, Bill. Um, How are you saying? Uh, you say that you're gonna change that that fancy uh, work next to the post. Just so is that going to go away? I'm going to replace them, so it won't go away. Okay. Will the sign cover or height any of that? That's a big deal. Um, yeah. it might hide a little of it, not the bigger rounded portions, but kind of the tips of it. I mean, I can make the sign smaller so that it fit inside of the portals, I could do that as well. That's if how that I, I would like it. Yep. Yeah, I agree with you, Mark. Yeah. I, I concur with Mark as well. So, yeah, I can sign be reduced something between those two. Yeah, absolutely. It, this is is smaller than what's there now. Currently, is that what you're saying? There is no sign there now. No, no. This piece, these pieces that are going, this is a separate application. Oh, yeah. The same porch. Right. And these are um, not as wide as the ones right. that are there now. Is that correct? I think so, yes. Because that would be really, really helpful if we knew how wide the ones that are existing are versus the ones you're proposing and what the differential is and how the sign would fit in between them rather than trying to make it work uh, and hoping well, I, it works and not being sure. Right, I don't know the answer to how big the corbels are there versus what I'm proposing to put there. Um, I, I would say that either way, I'm, I'm fine to make the sign whatever size so it would fit inside. Right. We're, we're, we're actually kind of crossing over two different things right now um, because I could just tell you we're going to move on to, to removing that stuff or, or changing it up. And yeah. that's really some beautiful work there um, historically that I would like to see stay there. Um, Bill, do you have any ideas about how we can go about this in, in order so that we can kind of go through this? Because what she's proposing for changing out um, that, it'll give her the space to put the sign in, but I don't know how I feel about changing that out. Well, neither that's do some, I. That's some lovely craftsmanship there. Um, 
you could table this sign application until you get to number three and do everything for this property together, or you could move number three, four, and five up and do them with the sign application right now. Well, that was actually the motion I was going to make. Uh, that we just move straight into three, four, five because hey, we have Aaron with us right now. That sounds good. Okay. It, it looks to me that just the door behind me is 36 with the trim. It's like four feet. It looks like it's nine feet uh, between mm -hmm. posts. So I, I believe your 84 is really close of going in between the fancy stuff. Okay. I, I'm happy to make it smaller so that it fits in between of whatever is there. Very good. So no, it's uh, how it's going to be hung. In other words, is it just going to be swinging in the wind because you say it's right underneath the gutter? So, how well, is it going to be fastened? Well, so maybe if it's going to be in between the four balls, then I will have it between the four balls so it just hangs down and doesn't swing. I, I think it's, he would not make it swing either way, it would be fixed to the property. Um, so, can, so we're trying me, to get you the done first Bill? before the sign. So yes. when the, we're working with. Bill, is Mike Bell, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, I know it's a mere technicality, but the application is incomplete. It doesn't include the frontage of the building, so we can't do that calculation. What is the frontage of the building? What exactly is that? length width of the house or the property it's the length of the building length of the building okay. hmm. okay. not the length of the court just the length of the house That's it's the frontage the length of the frontage I know, I don't understand what that is. The length of the house or the length of the front porch? Just be different. It's the length of the, it's my understanding, it's the length of the building. Okay. That's correct. Is this under O'Neill? What, what's your property on, listed under? Um, yeah, O'Neill. It's under O'Neill. Uh, can, can, can I just quickly propose that we go to uh, the changing first and decide on whether we're going to uh, and vote on uh, allowing uh, the replacement of what's there now before we decide on the hot sign? Because if we, if we pass, if we pass, if we pass the replacement uh, of that gingerbread there, uh, that's going to give a lot more room for that sign. Uh, I, I just feel like we're putting the, the carriage before the horse uh, and fitting this in. I love the idea of the sign. I'm fine with that, but it, we got to decide that before we go to the sign. So I propose we just table the sign for a minute and talk about um, that lattice work. So you're, you're going to move to number five? Is that what you're proposing? With the corbels, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, that's, I, I'm throwing it out there, please, if somebody yes. objects, uh, speak no. up. But, I, but I, I think that's, we can't decide on the sign until we know how much space is there. Uh, I agree. So let's move ahead to number four, number five, the replacement of the. Um, okay. Gingerbread. How does the proposed uh, uh, corblets stack up with the existing? 
Uh, they're well, a little different. They're a little bit different, and I am also doing um, the you know like Trex material. Uh, so Aaron, not wood. Can I, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why are you switching them? I, I understand changing the material. Um, I know they're hard to maintain. Yeah. Um, why not just replicate uh, in a new material what you already have there? Uh, we couldn't find an exact match for that. So we looked a lot of um, Victorian styles and the one that we chose was just the one that we liked the best. So I didn't find one exactly the same. Why not keep you the ones you have? Um, because they're, everything on that front porch is totally rotted and needs to be like, and I would rather well, I guess, with non-wood just because it will last and it's easier to maintain. Have you looked in a, at all into having someone fabricate for you? Um, I, um, no, I don't think so. These are just some, this is some beautiful, old, very, very old school, um, wonderful work. Um, yeah, I personally, I, 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 I would hate to replace it with something off the shelf. Right. Um, if you look really closely, this is, this is some stuff from the period um, that, you know, as far as the historic district, um, this is the stuff we're trying to keep around and, and I feel. Right. Um, so I just didn't know if you had looked into having somebody fabricated. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it in a, in an updated material. Yeah. Uh, but I really have a problem with letting this stuff go. This is, this is the stuff that's dying that I think we're trying to preserve. Right. I totally understand that. I, I don't believe that these are that old. I think they they I bought the house from put those on. So I, I believe they're only 20 or 30 years old. They so tend I, to be the off the shelf variety tend to be thinner and not and not as substantial looking. I have old ones that I preserved on my porch and you can have people fabricate them that way. I don't know what the thickness of the or whatever you want to call it is. Um, if they're skinny off the shelf and you're not really fabricating the existing. It's five eighths of an inch. What happened to me? Aaron, that's really, do you have, that's really do you have anything that's you could show us that says that's only 30 years old and not maybe original to the house, as often happens out here, um, where stuff has come, it, it goes, then it comes back? Um, I, are there any I, older pictures that maybe you can show? Um, I might have older pictures. I mean, I took everything out of my file that was um, in the town hall there, and I actually can't remember. I just remember my the telling me that the guy previous to me did all of this uh, porch work, and it was probably you know, twenty. No, just gone. Do you want um, your host says, to start the video? Do you want it? According to this, uh, this no, sheet no, here, the video is fine. I was just, it says audio? it's four inches deep by six inches high. That's nowhere near the the uh, size of the corbels that are there now, and only five eighths of an inch thick. I think we need to see more detail on on these proposed corbels, or maybe even a sample of one, because these are very skimpy. Yeah, they are. Oh, when Sam stuck think, our uh, restored this building, he tried to replicate everything that was there beforehand. So I think the existing ones are, are related to the historic structure. Okay. So are you just talking about the corbels or is, does that go true with Because I could, I mean, I'm happy to leave the corbels and just have them you know, repainted or something and, um, or, you know, whatever. I'm, but would that be the same for the railings? Uh, railings are a fairly good match. 
So a lot of thought. Yeah, the rulings are fine. So I can certainly leave the corbels the way that they and or as uh, Bill had suggested, you could have them fabricated in the in the new material. Yeah, I mean, the I way they are now. I would love suggestions on who does that. I don't know anybody who where to. I don't wouldn't even know where to start. But I I, would, I can tell you where to start. Do you know your neighbor John Spear? No. <laughs> well, go find him. Look, look to your left in that lovely new Anne Bonnie style house up on the hill. Okay. Uh, he actually handcrafted all of that himself. What's his um, name? And if John Spear. John Spear. Okay. And uh, if John is too busy, he builds a lot of houses to do it himself. He will certainly send you in the right direction. That's great. Um, and, and, I think you understand what, you know, that brand new Ann Bonnie is about a hundred feet from your house. That's John Spear. Um, okay. And he is a, uh, a true Yankee craftsman and he can help you with that. Okay. Uh, and he'll make, he'll make it the right size and the right width and everything else. That, he... Yeah. I'm happy to do that. I, I, I think they're pretty, I'm happy to do it. I, and I'm happy to keep them wood if preference or I can ask about the fabricating to uh, look exactly the same. I personally would would tell you to do it in in an alternative material. Um, those rot out really quickly. If you can have it done where it looks beautiful and, it, and it's in an alternative material, uh, go, go for that. Uh, okay. th they are. I, I, I honestly, I, I know how you feel. They're very hard to maintain, um, but yeah, they're, they're just lovely. They're <laughs> That's what we're trying to preserve here are those accents. Okay. okay. John, this is Martha. John is the one who has the um, the white picket fence down along the road. Do you know which one I'm talking about right road. next to your property? I don't. Aaron, I, can you, you hear me? Well, are you talking? Yeah. I'm talking John's to you, to you Aaron. Um, She'll find John out. John's house is behind the white picket fence that's right down by the road next to your house? Um, I don't know white picket fence. Of course, He's it's up not on the picture. hill above opposite Chapman can see, Street. You can see John's, John's house in, in this point. picture. Oh, no, I yeah. know. So one the white pick, that white picket fence is, is, is not wood. Okay. Just to, just to give you an example of how nice something can look. Um, yeah, I know. Most alternative yeah. materials. Yep. At least he told me it wasn't. So we have some incomplete um, portions of this application. Should we wait until we get the uh, fabricated. What do you need? Well, details of the fabricated um, um, replacements. Well, you could approve the you could approve the sign based on the existing ones remaining or um, replacements. You could approve the sign as long as it fits inside the existing or, or replacements of similar size. Yeah, I, we first, okay, the sign and the, um, with the railings, the railings replicate what's there now. Do we want to do it all together or we want to do it in pieces? We could do that. So, so they can we still have more to go on remember. this. Yeah. I also want to take out this nice stair in the front, which yeah, I know. Okay, well, do we want to do a little bookkeeping right now and knock two of these off? Why don't we just finish the rest of the application, the yeah. patio and the walk and the stairs, and then then decide. Okay. Work. So. We want to talk about the stairs. <laughs> I do. 
Um, okay, so I was initially not going to take the stairs out, and I was going to do some maintenance on them because they're very and they're very dangerous. Um, they're not in they're not in good shape at all, and they're just the steepness is it scares me as a mother and a homeowner. And I my parents come to this house and my kids. And if you fall down the stairs, you basically end up on Old Town Road, right into the street. Um, and so I, I actually come across a painting of the house, an older painting of the house, and it didn't have the stairs in it. So I'm not even sure the stairs are original to the house, um, which I don't know if that matters or doesn't matter. There's no, nothing in my file at the, at the building department that says anything about the stairs or if they were there or not there. I mean, the house was built in 1889, so uh, God only knows. But- um, Okay, I, excuse me, excuse me. We don't sure. have the paint, we don't have a pic, an image of the painting without the stairs. Um, you do, it, it, um, Where is application, the separate application. I've got the stairs. And then it's the next page after that, it says proposed. No, you said you had a painting of the house without the stairs. What? Well, I, I don't have to own that painting. I wish I did, but somebody else bought it. I don't own that painting. I just happened to see it. Okay, because that doesn't count for any, anything. Um, if sure. The stairs are at least 70 years old. Um, they weren't put in recently, I know that. Um, there are things that, and I understand the concerns. I thought they were going to be li liability and all. It just one of one of the things that this is this is a, a, a personal thing of mine. Um, if you go around the island and look at houses of this era, they very often have cement steps. It's just this this is different because it's wood, but. It's as if there was a time when people were building houses and making them look inviting. And um, with a front door and I've got a whole series of, I think I've got 30 or 40 pictures of these things. And um, I can understand, I mean, I hate the idea of taking them down at all. I love those stairs, I've always loved them. I understand what you're saying. But it seems like there's got to be an alternative or a compromise because the one with the rail across the front, the porch rail across the front is exactly what I'm talking about. Totally inhospitable house and totally un not in keeping with that time frame on, on the island. And now it's a, mi a minor point, Martha. Also, you'll never replace the stone wall to make it look like it's all one wall. The, although the proposed well, photograph does. Unless you get some, actually there's a guy who did work uh, my neighbor's wall who could do it. Um, no. But there aren't well, very many. you find the stone. Well, he, he had the stones there. <laughs> yeah, he rebuilt that's it. the difference. Well, is there any um, um, issue with just replacing the stairs since they're in bad shape? Suppose you kept the, the first three or four or five stairs that come up to the door yeah. and then got rid of the others or, and then try to, I don't, I don't know how to redo that stone wall. I'm not, I'm not uh, savvy on any of that stuff, but this way you would still have that open <clears throat> feeling. You would still have the steps that go up to the porch, but you wouldn't have them that go all the way down to the road. Yeah. I kind of think they would have to, because that's a hill. So if you went down five steps, I don't know, you would end up, I don't, I don't know where you, you go from there. You, you'd have a walkway that would go around and meet the one in the back. Yeah, I mean, I'd ha I would have to do some kind of landscaping fill there because that is a hill that goes right down. You know, they're not, they're not useful. If they don't, they don't function the way they were originally made to function. You would pull up to the house with your horse and carriage and get out and climb up the stairs. They don't do that anymore. You have to find the driveway and park your car someplace. Right. Okay. I, I don't think they ever did, honestly. I mean, if you, if you look at all of these houses, it was more like people had a fantasy that we were going to turn into a town 
that had sidewalks and everyone things that never happened because if you if you drive slowly you'll see them it's it's the same part of town it's the same period they all have the same um entrance way that was probably never used because people never use the front door anyway we all know that except me um but i do think I, I, when you said the first few steps that's the kind of thing i was thinking oh in case said the first few steps that uh do that and why and pull a pathway around the back i i would like to make a motion that we table this so that we could go visit the property and see what those steps actually do and what the what the uh, landscape is like. And also, you know, we're going to find out about the sign and the corbels. Yeah. I agree. Uh, we, we okay, can, we can a really second. important. Is that motion? I'll second that. Second. Second. Who seconded it? I did. Mike. Mike. Okay. Any dis any further discussion of the, the motion? Yeah, I'd only like to say that it's a you know it's a really beautiful, really important piece of property. Uh, there's been a lot of work done on it that somehow has not mucked it up over the years, which is amazing. Um, and it's it's really one of those houses that has has stewards, not owners. So we really want to be we I I'm sure the current owner shares that feeling. We all want to be careful of it. Sure. Well, there's a motion on the floor to table this application until um, we have a site visit. And when we get to see the um, fabricated um, portals. portals. So if I don't want to take the portables and just go with what's there because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get a fabricated portable and I and I would like to get the porch place this spring so like I don't know what the time is called. just take it off your application um Take what off the application? The request to change the corbels. Okay. But aren't you just asking for the sign? Well, we okay. are also asking for work on the porch. I'm asking to redo the basic, the whole porch, the corbels and the railings and the corbels. A question Are you changing the pulse too? Um, Yes. All right. You can always add uh, the detailed stuff afterwards. I mean, even if it came in six months after the porch was done, you could just add them then. You know. Yeah, and it'll look fine. Meanwhile, so it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt it to not have it there. What are you changing the posts to? Because you show square posts, and these are round. I think they'll be very similar to that. Um, Aren't the existing ones both? No, they're round. No, look at the bottom part. Uh, yeah, they're all like that. They're, they're square up until the top of the rail. Right, you're right, you're right. Which is yeah. another really neat feature. There's nothing yeah. on the application that says anything about the columns. So I think they would be either those same columns or very the similar thing, the same thing. Where are you showing them? There's no indication on it. Mike was correct. Yeah, I don't have them on there. Yeah, the ones on the back to um, what happened to my picture. My picture disappeared. <laughs> Well, there's a motion on the floor to table the motion, table. table this application until all these details are, are addressed, which means um, steps, railings, posts, and then corbels. 
If, if the posts are going to be part of the application, then there ought to be a facsimile of what's going to go back in. Okay. So I think um, I would say they were going to be the same exact thing, but I, yeah, I would have to get a picture. So uh, any discussion on the motion? Can I just ask one question? Are sure, there, if, if it wasn't the exact same thing with the roundness or whatever, like, or, am I going to do that? And then you might say, you know, it doesn't look like it should look and you want it to be the round and the square. Like, I don't want to go through that and then it not be what you want. So what? would you say to me you want it to look exactly like it looks now or would you approve something that was just square? Well, you think we need to see it the way it is now, having the, the square at the base and then around up, up to the, um, um, the, the roof porch. I mean, you're only talking about working on the front porch, aren't you? Yes, the front porch and because the side. The ones on the side um, and probably on the other side that we don't have a photograph of are the same square round. Oh. Yeah, everything same on the sides. I'm 100% sure they make that same one. I've seen them in the last couple months on different projects. So I don't think you'll have a hard time finding the same exact post. Yeah, so I, and I'm fine with that, the same post. Aaron, can I? Are you working with the contractor right now? I am. Okay. Uh, this is all stuff, you know. I, I would go to him, and and you're you're missing some pieces, but uh, you know, this is stuff he should have you set up and ready to go for for this meeting. Um, and and definitely talk to John Spear. Um, we'll all take a look at this property, you know. So I agree with Mark and Mike, let's, let's table, uh, you know, it's three, four, five. We might as well table oh, the application for the blue stone as well until we all take a look at it. And then we'll come back next month and, uh, and we'll get you moving. Um, I, I would definitely talk to whoever you're working with because if they've come before us before, they know what we want to see. Right. Um, yeah. And, and if not, ask your neighbor. John's been before this board a lot. He actually years ago taught me how to come before it. So he'll, he'll tell you what you need to have. I think it would be nice to just sure. have one application rather than all these individual applications for. Uh, okay. So just have a one application yeah, for sure. all the uh, we, proposed ch changes. We well, I could has certainly, yeah, I could certainly put them all together. Um, we decided to make them individual applications because of the detail of each one, so that you could um, discuss each application individually. I like them separated. Yeah, I, I do too. I think it's helpful. Okay. It's easier when um, the applicant goes and gets a building permit that we're clear what you're approving and what you're um, you're not approving or modifying. So uh, we have a motion on the floor. Um, all in favor, we need to do a roll call. Uh, Mark? Aye. Uh, Brian? Aye. Bill? Aye. Mike? Aye. Martha? Aye. And Kay? Aye. And Chairman votes aye too. So it's unanimous to uh, uh, postpone this application. It will take it up to the next meeting with uh, the details we've talked about. Okay, and just so I'm clear on what details that you need from me is um, more detail on some posts and the corbels, get them to look exactly the same. And details on the, the proposed front, getting rid of the stairs. 
And what details do you need from me for that? Well, you heard one suggestion of put stairs down, you know, three or four um, risers. Right. So you want the, the, to do something other than what I'm proposing. You're so you you're saying no to the taking the stairs out. So propose something else. Is that right? Either fix yes. them or only put a few stairs down. Isn't there sort of a landing there now? There is no landing, no. Aaron, are you on island? I am not on island. So if we go, is there anybody at the house? Um, I have a, I'm actually gonna be on island Wednesday and Thursday. I'm just wondering if we were to come over, do we need to let somebody know in advance? No, I, I mean, you guys could go over whenever you want. I, I will be well, there. A motion has been made and, and uh, approved. Aaron, do you have enough uh, information to know what we're looking for? I don't on the stairs. No, I don't understand on the stairs. But we're looking for alternatives. Right. I think a site map I mean, I, would be nice. For my for myself, I, I don't like the idea of losing the stairs, but I'm willing to look at um, something that's somewhere between what is there and what you're proposing. I right. just think it, it greatly alters, it, it so alters the look of the house to lose yeah. the uh, opening in the porch and uh, any of the stairs. I agree. Right. Okay, so so I know what I'm looking at. My, my application should be to repair the stairs. If you don't want me to lose any of the stairs, yeah, I, if you can put, if you can come up with an alternative, it certainly would be worth it. Or more than one, a couple. Yeah. 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 Okay. I just I don't know what that would be. Maybe when you guys look at it, you'll see what a deep hill it is, and um, I don't know how else to do it. I like to me putting down three stairs and then a walkway around the edge. Uh, to me, doesn't work just because it's the, my front. It's very steep. Like you, you would not. I would have to do something with the you know do fill in the yard or something like that, and I don't know how I would do that with the stone wall. There's so, actually no point to putting a sign in the middle there if you don't have a stair leading up to the sign. There's no point to it? No. I mean, well, the it point kind of exacerbates the, the, uh, the condition that they used to be Listen, a stair we, have, we have a motion that was passed. <laughs> and so let's move on. Yes. Okay. What's that the was next a good item point, on the agenda? Uh, that would be number uh, the 251 Spring Street LLC. So we're moving on to the oh, um, like. um, the Manatees. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's the next one on your agenda. I have, I have a question for the, the architect. Um, Arlene, we're, he's here. Um, Mr. Abbott is, we're trying to get the camera to work. If you could just bear with us for a second. Okay. Uh, 
Mr. Chairman, I'm here too. This is Blake. Okay, yeah, I see you, Blake. Thank Welcome. you. Okay, I can see nice that see Mr. Abbott is here, but um, I see there's two, um, and I'm just trying to. Okay, maybe he's unmuted now. Okay, uh, I have two. One is my visual, and one is my uh, drawings. If we want okay. to, uh, so that's why I have two screens. Sure. We can't see you, but um, I'm not really sure why. This is visual. My question is, is a quick question. On the plans, there's no windows indicated in the back of the building, but on the elevation, you have uh, you have windows, uh, and on the back of the of the room part of the building. So, which one is it? Me? Which drawing are you referring to, Arlene? Uh, I'm looking at drawing number 11. It's the flip plan. And then drawing number... Can you screen share? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I can. I yes, I can do that. Just give me a second. Drawing number 11 is the plan of the uh, of the building, third floor plan. And, and drawing number 12 is the rear elevation of the building. And they don't, they don't, they're not married to each other. But how do I get it to be the whole, if the drawing 12 has the areas highlighted that we changed from our last month's submission. Mm -hmm. You can see the bubbles. We basically continued the materials from the grade floor porch around the rear of the building. Previously, the shingle material came all the way down to the ground. And the recommendation was, was to continue the materials all the way around from uh, porch to porch so that we have uh, a differentiation in materials at the base and then different from the upper two floors and then the roof. Well, I'm looking at the window at the fenestration plan. Uh, and it, it's on, on this drawing, uh, it shows fenestration that's not shown on the floor plan. So I want to know which way it's going to be. It's number 12. We added those windows to at the request of the neighbor. Okay. When you, when you say number 12, what do you mean? Are you, is this page the number 12? 12. C12. Okay. Not the sheet 12. If you look at the lower drawing, it shows windows. And if you look at 11, on the floor plan, those windows don't exist. 11 is the inside. We have nothing to do with the inside. Well, we have to do with the floor plan that the windows are. And, and there's no windows shown on the floor plan. I don't care what's on the inside. I just want to see if the windows are where it's shown on the elevation. Which floor are you talking about? There's a bubble on 12, which shows the rent, the uh, change that they made. And so right. it, super, it supersedes so 11, is that correct? No, 11 is a floor plan, okay. Right. And shows, you know, shows, this is the plan. Well, the location. We, How can I get this? It shows the location of the windows. And, and I just no, said, we, we added those made windows at the you last or? meeting. At, at the request of the neighbor. Yeah. It's, a, it's a Facebook picture. Yeah, so save it to your phone and then text it to you. So you're saying, Mike, that the um, number 11 wasn't updated? Right. Number 12 is what we're proposing, which has the windows that we agreed that we would add for uh, 
the neighbor who wanted something less plain on the back of the building and asked that we add the windows. So we added those. And then the other change is wrapping the material from one side of the porch to the other porch. Okay. It looks I 10 times good. better. The, op the, pro uh, the uh, discussion last time was that it looked too tall, the three floors all being in the same material. So by wrapping the first floor material around, it would reduce the visual height of the staircase. But I can't see my screen. I think it looks a lot better. Yep, I agree. It it, it diminishes the. Uh, I concur. There too. It's got it's fluid. It's fluid. Uh, it's a it's a pretty look. I think it's going to make the building uh, consistent and, and take it back to what was originally there. I just sent Jen another old picture. Did you get it yet, Jen? Can you hear me, Jen? Are you in the building, Jen? <laughs> I, mean, I just feel like we're we're looking at what we want it to look like and disregarding what it was. In what way do you well, feel? We don't it's necessarily different? want to replicate the uh, the addition. Well, and, and that's what the uh, Rhode Island Historic Group said. That's why they changed the railings. Right. recommended to, we change the railings not to replicate the the previous one right. but to complement it yeah to simplify it yes I you can basically that's yeah that's it that's i think we've had one product. like that but that's pretty clear yep that's great there's another one that's the back end that was just before the building came down but i don't think i'm going to be able to find it this the only difference awesome. in this photograph from what we're proposing is we have the enclosed fire stair on the rear here. Right. Yeah. And you and have windows on that. Wow, where'd you get this, Martha? That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I get yeah. everything off Facebook, believe it or not. And Michael, yeah. the new that addition. was uh, G George Mott. George Mott, Mott posts a lot of great pictures to Facebook. He posted this last week. It's it's the clearest one we've seen. <laughs> and Michael, the new addition is smaller than that original, right? No, it's approximately the same size. Oh, is yes. it approximately the same? Yes. What's different, I guess, is the uh, staircase on the rear, which is exactly yes. is there because of safety reasons. Yes, it's required. You know, as, as you know, today the building has all of those kind of uh, very um, awkward-looking <laughs> fire escapes on the rear of the building now, and yeah. so we opted to do the enclosed fire stair so that we don't have any of that uh, haphazard look. Yeah. Well, so what's next? That was the only change that we were coming back with was that material change on the first floor. I had a question on, on uh, drawing 13. Yes. On the, I don't know, I don't see a, a north arrow. Um, when you go up to the second, third, and fourth floor, they have 
four panes. When you go down to the lower basement or the first floor, there's only two. The window is one over one instead of two over two. Yes. Those is are that doors. meant to be that way or are we? Th pardon? Those are doors that open. And so that's taking um, uh, something that we had done previously on the front of the building where we take a, a window with panels below and make a door out of it. I'm not sure I'm seeing door. Yeah. Each of those tall uh, windows with the panels are doors. And what the little squares below? Yeah, that's a wood panel, like a door. Like a screen, an old screen door. <laughs> Not a screen door, a, a, a permanent door that has the lower part solid and the upper part glass. We actually did that on the uh, existing building on the front where we created the second floor porch and we had doors that walk out onto that porch. And this is the same way that we did it on the front. So is, is this basically the crossbar there is, is you're not gonna put that there. Is that gonna be one sheet of glass or is there a reason to No, no, that no, that crossbar is there to divide it. So it get looks it like, a, like a double hung window with panels below it. Okay. What else? I'm not sure if anyone in the audience um, has any comments. If you do, uh, please just raise your hand. And you can do that um, if you press um, star six. I'm sorry, but, star nine. If I have a question on materials, is that appropriate now or do I wait to a different time? Uh, we were go, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, on drawing number 08. I was wondering, you're showing a path around the existing kitchen, and it also yes. goes right in, right into the building itself, the main building. Uh, where does the beginning and end, and what is it? Uh, the part that's around the restaurant currently exists. It's uh, a paver, uh, like a brick paver that's on the grade, and we're just going to continue that same brick paver. All the way around the all the way around the kitchen. Yes. Okay, and then how do you find that? That's because our parking our parking is over on the other side of the kitchen, so that's how Correct. we would walk. But which your ADA is up top, so how do you how do you get to? We're, the we're doing more ADA over at the other lot down below, <laughs> so you'll actually walk from the lower parking lot straight over on that sidewalk. Okay, that makes more sense because right now it's just yeah. shown above. Yeah, no, we have parking below also. So we have parking above uh, for the upper level and then we'll have parking at the lower level. And so that sidewalk goes around to our new parking lot. So basically you either have to choose upper or lower level to get the AD in. There's no, there's no transition between them, no? No. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions to the applicant? Done everything we asked them to do. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah, I have a couple of questions. Okay. Go ahead. Where is, what is the status of this? I'm trying to, I just screwed up the screen again. I'll get it back. Um, what is the status of this application with other town boards, which isn't relevant to our decision, but I'm just curious. Thanks, Martha. I can answer that. We, we currently have the geoengineering being done, and we hope to submit application to the zoning board uh, probably within a month. Thanks. You're welcome. That, that's been asked, and I didn't know what the answer was. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, 
beginning of the plot. So this is. Is it time to make a motion, Bill? Yes. I move that we approve the application. On plot seven, lot 27. Correct. A second. Is this for preliminary or preliminary and final? At this point, I think we, we I think it's final. Preliminary and final, yeah. We've we've gone through yeah. everything. Materials, windows, uh, unless anybody's opposed to it. No, I, I say final. And this is the plan submitted, uh, the plan dated January 3rd, 2022. Yes. Has a motion been seconded? I'll second it. I'll second it. Mark okay. seconded. Are there any further discussions? I think it's clear that the applicant has heard what we have said and has incorporated those changes accordingly. I do. Do we need any findings of facts since it's going to be the final approval? I'm good at that. Historic buildings and historic district? No, I think that we also should just get for the record a, a, a plan showing those windows that are not on the plan, but on the elevation. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Um, Michael, I would also, I know it's nitpicking, but the descriptions on the drawing for the elevations are not um, uh, consistent. When you call okay. it the east elevation, you're looking at it from the east side. When you talk about it being the South elevation, we're looking at it from the north side. So that needs will, to be cleaned up. I will correct that. Yes, thank you. Well, if there's no further discussion, I'll call the uh, motion. Well, we need finding um, a fact, don't we? Oh, yeah, finding a fact. Bill, you're good at that. <laughs> Martha's even also building. good. Martha's even better. <laughs> I don't even have the... I was so focused on having this in front of me. I don't even have the application. The application is to construct an addition on the Hotel Manassees 251 Spring Street, plot seven, lot 27. I don't have a whole lot of background on the Manassees. It's a um, historic structure located in the, um, the New Shore Historic District and in the Old Harbor register. Oh, I can never, I'm sorry, I don't have, I never get that term right. The Old Harbor, um, Historic uh, Zone, it has had substantial renovations over the years. It has been um, the application, the addition that's being approved currently is an approximation of the L that was extended, that extended off the back of the original hotel, which had to be taken down um, in the 1970s, I think. And this is um, looking toward um, a similar um, structure addition to what, thank you, similar structure to what was, was previously there. Good job. <clears throat> and I would say that it's a significant building within the historic district. Yes, yes. absolutely. I'll put something in there about the, all of the different revisions and um, and something about the state historic preservation um, 
maybe something about their letter yeah. that they submitted. Okay. Yeah, attach that letter to them. Uh, keep that letter in the file. Okay, does everybody understand the motion? Yes. Yep. I'll call the question. Mark? Yes. Kay? Aye. Arlene? Aye. Mike? Aye. Bill? Aye. Martha? Aye. And the chairman uh, votes aye too. So oh, it's unanimous. So good luck with the um, the other applications you're going to need in the town. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good work. Okay, where are we in the agenda? Um, um, number two under preliminary. As bad as it seems. Hi, Gia. And Josh Red is um, here representing the Hygia. Yeah. Which one are we on? Hygia. Number two. Josh, can I said you hear us? To lose my agenda. Oh, there you go. Yep, I can hear you. I'm, I'm not sure if anyone else is um, logged in for this um, application. I see a few. Okay, I just wanted to check. Everybody have a copy of the application? Yep. So this is um, the application, similar application that you saw um, last year and um, the applicant came back to this board because of changes in materia materials. Uh, yeah. Good evening. Uh, so I can just walk you through the couple of changes we we would like to make. Most of them are just kind of value engineering um, as the project's gotten going and, and we've started looking into materials. Uh, as we all know, building materials and prices and things are... Um, Certain items are cost prohibitive as well as just unattainable right now. Um, I guess the most obvious one in the in the uh, revised drawings we sent is the roofing material. Uh, we had originally um, intended to either use a red cedar or a uh, Alaskan yellow cedar on the roof. Um, most of that cannot even be purchased right now. And uh, even if it was, it would be extremely cost prohibitive. So we uh, have decided to go back to an asphalt roof. Um, you can see in the 3D rendering, the color we've selected, it's an Owens Corning. Uh, the color is quarry gray. It's fine. Any questions on that? It's okay to me. Yeah, I've got a question, a couple of questions. Um, I have heard that the, I was talking to another uh, builder, long time builder out here, who said that the colors on um, asphalt have just radically diminished. So is this, what were your choices? I'm just curious. Uh, 
the 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 hardest colors to acquire currently are are the really bright colors like the reds and the greens um blues so as far as asphalt those are i wouldn't say they're impossible but the wait can be six to eight months um so we were kind of looking at a shingle that that represented what in a weathered wood roof would look like and um we felt that the quarry gray was the best fit with the color of the building and a color that we've seen other, you know, around the Island and in the historic district already. So it seemed appropriate. Thank, thank you. Any other changes you've made? Uh, yes. Um, on the cupola, um, the original rendering showed um, the roof of the cupola as a curving four-sided hip roof. Uh, we're, we want to keep the four-sided hip roof, but again, going back to material, we had originally intended on doing a standing seam lead-coated copper roof. Uh, this is another material that, uh, again, on top of being hard to acquire, is almost quadrupled in price. And it's, it's just really not become an option. Um, so what we proposed to do was to switch to a, a painted aluminum standing seam roof, uh, very high quality in the color of slate gray, which most closely replicates the lead coated copper look um, for significantly less cost. The only issue with that is that you cannot do the curve. You cannot bend um, that style of roof. So we straightened out the rafters to accommodate the new roofing material. Um, could I speak to that? Um, I drove by, I see you've already built the, the um, roof that you want. Um, but I did take a tour of town and the square versus the curve or the straight versus the curve. It's Ballard's and uh, the post office and the gas station and the liquor store, um, the historic uh, society, and uh, also the, um, well, those anyway, uh, versus the Spring House and the Manistees. Spring House and Manistees have the curved roof, the former ones have the straight roof. Um, certainly the curved roofs is more elegant, um, probably fitting for that building that you're trying to do. I think it'd be too bad not to do that. I know it requires um, a lot more um, fine work, um, but I'm sure that you're up to all of that. So that's my input. I would, I would vote very strongly to keep the curved roof. What's I'm sorry, I think... Thought? I, I missed something um, that Mike just, I think, clarified. You're changing the mansard? I thought you were talking about the cupola. And he was cupola. talking about the cupola. We were talking. Yes. So it's just the cupola, not the mansard. Right. Okay. Well, well, Mike, you did your homework well. All, all those places yeah. you went to see. So. Except the national. Um, well, there's uh, a different cupola on the national. Yeah, so it's only 1880s anyway. But it, it's a whole different style. And um, you're not going to switch things out. I don't remember. Was there lattice in the porch before? Uh, yes, that's that's uh, a little further down my list of things to talk about. Oh, okay, just keep keep going then. Okay. Um, the other the other item on the cupola was just the windows. Uh, when the architect designed the cupola, um, he misread the Anderson selection for the uh, for the windows. And they don't actually, Anderson does not make a um, arch top window in that dimension. So we just went with a squared off top window. It's, I don't think it's particularly noticeable, but it, it is, it is there. Um, 
you can't actually purchase that window. It can't be done through Anderson. And um, we didn't want to, you know, we're not changing any of the actual dimensions of this cupola. Everything is staying the same. Uh, so in order to accommodate the, what we currently have, and, and it seemed like those window uh, dimensions were fitting to, to the size of it, that um, if we could go to the squared off window, uh, we wouldn't have to do much else for it. Josh, the first two levels, they're squared off windows, right? Just the Dahmers? Yes. Okay. I think if you look at most of the cupolas, they have square, squared off top windows. Most of the other sure. cupolas you see around. Nice. Josh, is there anything else that you're proposing? Um, the other item would be um, the two chimneys that are on the building. Um, due to, you know, fire code and whatnot, the existing chimneys had to come down to accommodate that cupola. Um, they currently serve no purpose uh initially they were going to be put back up as a faux chimney spread out further uh from the cupola um but they weren't going to serve any purpose we don't um when when champo and the hygia and and well and when the current owners had it as well uh the the one chimney vented the boiler and the other chimney was for the fireplace in the living room um they're switching over to a heat pump system in the house. So there will be no boiler to vent. And we, we are keeping the fireplace in the interior of the house, but there's going to be a, um, an insert that doesn't require ventilation. And so the new chimneys would not actually be serving any, any purpose inside the house. So as far as a value engineering standpoint, they were proposing to um, eliminate the faux chimneys. Hmm. It looks okay to me. Josh, now that you guys are into this a few months, and, and you know, if anybody understands, I do, uh, you got to come back because the world has changed a lot in the last 24 months. Do you see right now these being your last revisions? Are you guys that far ahead where you can say these will be the last major uh, revisions to what we already approved? Because taking away the chimneys is a big deal. Yeah, I, I think as far as an exterior standpoint and what the HDC is concerned about what we're doing, yeah, I think that this is it. Um, we have a lot of uh, a lot of work to do on the interior still, but as far as what we're talking about today, um, I don't really see anything else. We, we, as you can tell, we've come pretty far with the exterior of the building already. Um, I don't really see much else other than yeah, what we're talking about now. Well then, are we ready for final approval rather than preliminary? Is that it, Josh? Oh. No, they added um, a panel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, that was the last item to, to discuss. And um, it was just kind of an alternative uh, to see what the board thought, but... Um, the original, uh, I think there previously was lattice under the, the bottom deck and they're proposing a slightly more decorative panel. Where's that? This is on the- uh, Martha, we can't hear facade. you. 
Does somebody uh, yeah. have that panel out here? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I've seen it and I can't place it. And I never go to the mainland, so. I like it, but. Um, I think it's rather handsome. I, the nice I thing is a lot, of, a lot of airflow through there and, and airflow helps keep, keep things from rotting. Well, are we ready to give final approval to the exterior? I'll make a motion, Mike. I, I mean, uh, um, Bill. Bill. Ready? Yes. Okay, I'll make a motion on plot five, lot 113, for some alterations, some changes. The first one would be the cupola roof. Instead of having the sweep on the bottom, it'll be squared off. Instead of lead coated copper, it will have uh, a, a heavy aluminum with a gray tone to match the roof and what was going to be there originally. Uh, the squared off windows in the cupola instead of the round windows that were uh, proposed originally. The removal of two chimneys. Uh, there weren't any reason to have them. Uh, and I don't know, what did we talk about the lattice thing? I'm not sure if we approved it or I didn't hear anybody's input with it. Uh, are we going to approve that? I think the lattice look, works, looks nice. Okay, this is not lattice. This is, uh, so this AZAC type product with some carvings in it. Uh, and I, it's in a historic district and this is a final approval. There seems to be one other change and that's on the side elevation, a new door to replace a window. Oh, oh that's right. Josh, you want to talk about the window, the door? Uh, are you, is it the door on the second floor deck? Yes. Oh, I, I apologize. I thought that that ha had been um, included in the first application. It, it might have uh, been. I don't know. I, I, I believe it was, and I think, Mark, you, you had commented that the, we allowed it on the Manassees on their second okay. floor, if I, if I remember correctly. Glad you got a good memory. I can... Okay, so then well, we don't have... And, and Josh... Uh, you got it's on the building open. So I'm pretty a... sure that that was original to the building, and that champ took that out. There wasn't there a fire escape there at some point. Uh, I I can't speak for the fire escape, but the the door that I think you're referring to, which is on the west side, second floor, was originally a door. Um, that's the one that has the stained glass window in it now. Correct. Um, yeah that that was originally a door. And I'm not sure at what point, uh, if it was Champ or, or who put that stained glass window in, but um, uh, all the older renderings and photographs of the building show that as a door. Uh, Champ seems to think that there was some kind of uh, breezeway out that door that connected it to an adjacent building. Okay. We, we talked about this at the last meeting. Um, Champ. It's always been that long, longer window in my memory. And he thought when um, what's now the high gear was down where Ranowski is, it was a connection with it and then another building. No, there wasn't any absolute certainty, but we talked about it. We approved it before, I remember. Okay. So, Mark, if, you're, if you put forth the motion, I'll second uh, Mark's motion. Unless there's any other discussion. How about findings of fact? Could 
Can we pull them from the last application? I think there, I don't think anything has changed, has it? I can add them okay. to the motion. All right. Is there a second to the motion? Bill, did you second it? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Yeah, I'd like to, um, I'd like to lobby again about the, coup uh, the curve in the cupola. I think it's a mistake. Um, the buildings that have it straight are more modern buildings. Um, this is appropriate. Having the curve um, is a, as appropriate on this building as it was on the Spring House or the Manassees. Um, it's not the liquor store or the gas station. Uh, it's a much more elegant building. And um, so I would love to have the curve remain, make that change to the motion. Is there a second to that change? I'll, I'll second that. Okay, so the motion on the floor is final approval, but with the uh, um, cupola having a circular um, roof. Curve instead of a straight. Curve instead of a straight. So how do you break it up like that? Because I'm I'm for the straight, and then don't we have not. a motion on the floor? Yes, well, you we, do. We would have, we would have a, a vote on the amendment, which is that the cupola would have a um, curved roof. Is there a second to that? Uh, I Arlene. second it. Yeah. All right. Now let's have a vote on that. Um, Mark, what do you think? I'll, I'll like it the way he's proposing it today. Straight. So you're against the motion? Yes. Okay. I think it should remain car curved, not straight. Remain. So you're in favor of the motion? Yes. The addition. Mike, you're obviously in favor. Um, Arlene? I'm in favor. Martha? I'm against. So uh, I would vote in favor of a curved cupola. What about Be Bill? consistent with some, pardon? It's a moot point, but I vote nay. Well, let's see what we have. So three. yes, Mike, Arlene, Kay, and Bill Penn voted yay in the affirmative. And then um, Mark, Martha, and Bill Cook voted nay. Mm. So it's majority. So four to three. Pardon? Four to three. Majority. Mm -hmm. So now you just need to call for a vote on the original motion with this amendment. Okay, now we need a motion on the original, or a vote on the original motion, which was to um, uh, approve final approval of the exterior uh, additions that have been included. Any discussion? Let's take a vote, Mark. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Mike. Aye. Will. Aye. Arlene. Aye. Martha. Aye. And Chairman Bill Penn says yes. So it's a unanimous vote with um, 
Not a unanimous vote on the cupola. Thank you. Any other further discussion? Let's move on to the next item on the agenda, which is number seven or six. 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 Uh, the national. Mm -hmm. Okay, six, the national. Julie has provided a nice folder for us. In a lovely green folder. And Julie Fuller is here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Julie. Hi, Hi Julie. So on the exterior, are you making any changes? No, at the end of it, yeah, hopefully stopping all the leaks that we currently have, but at the end of the day, it'll look exactly like we did, like it does now. So, um, but we're gonna replace the windows on the whole, just the front of the building we're talking about right now. Um, the clapboard, the trim, so we'll be using, um, you know, different product than is currently there, of course, but the look at that will be exactly the same. You're replacing the shutters? Yes, yes. I didn't put that in there. I do own them already. They're pretty much exactly the same, but not a faded teal color. Uh, Julie, uh, Julie, you're... you're your enclosure about, about the windows only includes 13. Um, they're going to be the same window on every floor. There's 13 per floor. Okay. Um, so it's it's not just 13. It's all 39. It's all 39, correct. Okay. All right. And this door that's included in the package, where, where does that fit in? The door. Oh, no, you know what? It's just the that's cover the of the um, brochure on the Hardy board that we're using, the Hardy trim. So we won't have a door. It's just it, that was sort of the cover of that brochure that shows that Hardy plank lap siding next to the door. That's what we're we would like to use in place not of the it. door. What? Not the door. Not the door, just the siding. Okay. And it'll, the siding will be in an Arctic white. I have, a, I have a piece of it, but it's kind of hard to tell on the camera what it looks like. So it's a white white. Spacer bar in between. Will the windows have a spacer bar in between the uh, mountains? In other words, is outside mountain and inside mountain? I think they are going to have. I know the look will be exactly the same. Um, the window detail. Full divided light, it says on the oh okay on the specs. It's the same window we put into that new suite last fall that um on the back porch of the hotel. So it's not a mountain, it's a it's an actual divided light. Correct. Okay. That's not that's nice. That's nice. Any further questions about the application? Mm. Hearing none, would someone Julia, like to make I a missed, motion? I missed something you said earlier. I missed something. Wait a minute. Go ahead, Martha. 
Um, you said something about the shutters, and I just didn't hear you, Julie. Uh, we're replacing them with the exact same type of shutter, but in an actual hunter green instead of the peel that it's turned into over the last 20 years. It was <laughs> hunter to begin with, wasn't it? Or right. Darker? Yes. Are you doing a whole um, building or just the front right now? Just the front for right now. So you plan on doing the other two sides? Hopefully. Yeah. The front, you know, the, the east, east gets better. Right. The front windows are the ones that are in the roughest shape at this moment. So you're welcome to my world. Mm -hmm. Can I make a motion? I just made a motion. I Sorry, this. I missed it. I make a motion that we accept. Do we approve the application and submit it? Is there a second to that motion? I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying, well, I'll do a roll call. Mark? Yes. Aye. Okay. Aye. Mike? Aye. Bill? Aye. Arlene? Aye. Martha? <clears throat> Martha? She's frozen. Martha? I think she's frozen. I think she... She says yes. <laughs> okay. No, she's in the next room. Can I say yes. I'm going to go help her. So, uh, uh, the motion carries. And thank you, Julie. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you, Julie. Good night. So the next item on the agenda is number seven or number six? Seven. 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 Agni. Seven, which is uh, plot seven, lot. 35 um, on High Street application for a, a new. I just need to get all of this on. There we go. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Application to. Uh, There's really no information on this. Beg your pardon? There's no information on this. Where are we now? Uh, number seven. Tangway. Tangway. That's a nice footing detail, but, <laughs> but there's no information on the windows or the type of windows or the size of the windows. Uh, you, uh, Ray Preparian is here and he has his hand um, raised. I think he would like to speak. He's the contractor. Um, how come I can't talk? No, you can. We can hear you. You can. You can. Okay. I'm new at this. And I apologize. Am I on now? You are now. We can hear you. We can't okay. see you. I don't know why. Okay. I see my name. Do you see where I'm at? Yep. Okay. Okay. So when I when I want when I want to speak, I just click this raise your hand. Um no, you can just go ahead and speak. You're not muted or anything. Oh, okay. Okay. Um you have the application, I think. We do. I'm but very new at this. So maybe hopefully, you have what you want. I apologize. Ray, there's not enough information on this application. There's no window sizes. There's no details about the windows. I, okay, I I do have those as an estimate. Um, I can drop those off in the morning. Um, maybe we have to do another meeting. Okay. Yeah, the deck is not on the plot plan. The deck's not on here. 
the deck, there is, there is a partial deck now of cement because we want to install a French door, then we wanted to extend the deck to have the French door exit to the yard. All that should be on the plot plan. Okay. Yep. Ray, Ray, is this behind the, the house? Yes, it's behind the house, yes. So can I make a motion that we uh, post, we table the discussion until the next meeting? Yeah, that would help me too. And then you could just tell me what I do need exactly and I'll make sure you have it this week. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second it. Second. All right, all in favor of uh, deferring action on this agenda item until our next meeting. Uh, signify by saying, Mark. Aye. Okay. Aye. Arlene. Aye. Bill. Aye. Mike. Aye. Martha, you're, you're muted. Is there a plot plan in? in that folder from the previous owner that I handed in? Is that what you're looking for, a new one? There is a plot plan, but there is, Ray, there, there's nothing showing uh, the windows type, uh, description, look. Okay, so you would actually need a whole new plot plan. No, the, no, plot the plot plan, plan would show the, the plot plan would show the house and then where the porch is or is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, it's, and the elevation. Martha, are you in favor of tabling the motion to the next meeting? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Does the uh, plot plan that you have now show the partial deck in the back of the house? No. No? no. no. Stairs. Well, yes. Yeah, it, it, it would be the size of the deck extended to that, actually. But I'll, uh, I'll get a new plot plan. Okay. And elevation two. Okay. And I vote in favor of the uh, um, postponement as well. So... Uh, we'll see you uh, next month. And meanwhile, uh, feel free to ask us questions about what you need, need, need to uh, yeah. submit to uh, us. Thank you for your help. And I will ask some questions and uh, I'll see you next meeting. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is Judy Rose, Lot 7, Lot 68, Sunset Hill Lane application to construct a single family dwelling. Okay. Okay, uh, just give have? the, yep, yeah, you have a couple of people here. So um, just give them a minute to get on the screen. Uh, Joseph Priestley is here, Mrs. Rose, and I, I think this is Jamie Rose. I thought I saw Billy. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's Billy. Billy and Mrs. Rose are here. And I, Scott Anderson from uh, um, Connecticut Valley has done the design. He, he, he had another commitment tonight so you got me unfortunately and Bill and Judy are here to answer questions and they're not not muted this is to construct a new two-story house on a 7,700 square foot lot on Sunset Hill um, you've got site plans and I think you have elevations so um, the part that faces Sunset Hill is very unattractive and it's not a good neighbor to the houses that are there. Pardon? Did you? 
Arlene, could you repeat that? I don't know if they could hear you. The, the front elevation, which is the part that faces Sunset Hill, is, in my opinion, very unattractive and not a good neighbor to the other houses that are there. The windows are, are like maybe three feet high. By, I can't tell how wide they are, maybe two feet wide. And, and it, just, it just is very bad looking. The rear elevation, which has the view, of course, is much nicer. And I don't understand why they're putting these little dinky windows in the part that faces their neighbors. Any explanation for that? That would be the front elevation? Yes. Bill, do you think you could answer that or, Ju or Jamie? Judith. Oh, go ahead. Okay, um, we made the choice of the windows that um, are a little bit smaller in the front because it is so close to the road and we wanted uh, to feel, we didn't want to feel that traffic was right on top of us. So uh, the windows are a little smaller, but they're proper in style and I think very attractive for the front of the house. It's a colonial and those are, uh, you know, everything is designed the way a colonial should be designed, but we, aren't, we don't have a setback uh, in, with, for the road, you know, much of a setback. Uh, I have a question on the right elevation. Uh, there's a blank wall. Can you put any okay, windows on right that? Okay, right elevation. There should be a kitchen window over the sink. Oh, it shows, Judy, yeah. on the right-hand side, on the first floor window, on the second floor window, on the left-hand side, what Bill is referring to is there's no windows. It would be on the um, back of the building, on the back side of the building. On the right-hand side, there are two windows. One um, up on the second floor, a large window, and then a, a, a double hung window that has to be smaller be, uh, on the first floor because it's over the kitchen sink. There are no windows, um, you know, no other windows because the bathroom is there and the washer and dryer are at that end, so I and shower, so I didn't wasn't able to get a window into that. We also uh, like have some sort wall. of requirement on the windows being two over two, I believe. Yes. They were, they were planning to use the Anderson 400 double, double hung mic. Um, they show them four over one, but if two over two is what you need, they could change that. Yeah, I think that's appropriate. I agree. Now everything is four over one on the house. There's no two over two. And what, what are you no, saying, I, Judith, that they want to change it to two over two on, all, all around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, what we really don't two want is two one uh, that over one. Isn't, oh. But we're just doing, uh, we're just doing, oh, sugar, we're just doing, um, that's not in I did it again. Shoot. We're just doing massing and um, um, siding now, aren't we? Yeah, it's preliminary. There's no, there's no detail of the windows or of the materials at all. Well, but aren't well, we just doing preliminary. massing and siding is my question? Yes, Martha, you're right. Thanks. It's not a very long, large house. It's approximately 38 by 23 and two thirds feet long with a small porch in the back, small landing in the front and a second floor deck that leads down a set of stairs, which provides a second floor, second access in case of fire. 
Um, it's located centrally on a, on, a, on, a, on a relatively small lot. And with the, essentially when the drive, with the need of putting in a driveway, it's located as centrally on the lot as possible. Can we get a clarification well, on this? Is, with... Go ahead, Martha. Instead of uh, left and right or whatever it is, north, south, east, and west, it's a lot easier for us to understand it that way. There's a porch on the north side, which is the rear side. There's a landing on the south side, which is the front side near the road. And on the west side, there's a second floor deck with a stair. Okay, hold, hold on, slow down, Joe. So what your, your front elevation is uh, facing south, is that right? The front yeah. elevation yeah. is facing south, yes. So the rear would be facing north. You're also losing a lot of light if you're cutting down on the south windows. Like you said, we're, we're siding and massing right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. I just want to throw that out. <laughs> I'm thinking of it. And the left elevation, therefore, would be east? West. West, okay. And that's the elevation you say faces the street? No, the south elevation faces Sunset, Sunset Hill Road. That far, you have one's front and rear. You have oh, that's the, the, the front elevation faces south. The rear elevation faces north. The left elevation faces west. The right elevation faces east. Well, I still have a problem with the... Um, East elevation having a blank wall. Yeah. You say there's some utilities in there, uh, washer and dryer. Couldn't you put windows in those um, facilities? Looks like it's a two family house. But no, this is a, a one family house with provisions for a caretaker. Oh, well, that's two. Who would live in with the family? This is a forever home. Can I say that? Yeah, go ahead. This is built to be a forever home, which is currently very popular. And the point is, on the east side of the house um, that doesn't have the windows, that's where the, both the uh, upstairs and downstairs bathrooms are located. And I have put the washer and dryer in the downstairs bathroom because in a forever home, everything should be on the first floor. So in order to get the washer dryer and walk-in shower in the downstairs bathroom, there is no place for windows on the east side. And in the upstairs, it's the same situation there is no place for a window upstairs in the bathroom. And those are, those are just bathroom walls. So, but in the rooms that I could put a window, I did. Um, and uh, you'll notice on the, the west side, we have a window in the upstairs. Uh, the small bedroom upstairs. And then we have the deck. But with the stairway going down, it's, I believe, from my limited knowledge of the property I have, you can't have a stairway going past windows. So with the That's stairway true. there, um, I can't have windows in the downstairs on the west side because it's against the code. And um, I can't change the bathrooms around and, and there's no other configuration I can do for the bathrooms. Um, I have, it's a, I've, I've skimped on the, because of this lot size is so narrow, I've skimped on footage. You'll notice I only have 11 feet across the living room, which is substandard. I mean, usually you have a 12 foot living room width. Uh, the bathrooms, you know, it's the same thing. In order to get the washer dryer in, I had to sacrifice uh, the window on the east side. So, um, 
I don't know. Um, yeah. uh, too yeah. you have a window over the yeah, well, I know I'll show you. No. The reason it's 11 feet is because the modular homes come that way. That's that's a standard size for the module. They put the two pieces together. On, on page one and page two, you can see what Mrs. Rose is talking about. And as Mike was saying, can you put well, a window over can be reconfigured So that you can have real windows in it. Let Mark finish, please. And like Mike was saying, have a window over the wash and dryer, but they got shelves over there. It would be impossible to do that, Mike. But they sh they show well. How do you put the shelf two. somewhere else? Well, that that being said, I mean we're still on siting right now and massing. Uh, I, I think the roses are all hearing our concerns about the windows. But if we can keep moving forward on the siting and massing, maybe give them some ideas so that when they come back. Uh, maybe we can play with this. And, unless, unless we want to go through this and, and give them a final, uh, you know, with changes. Uh, uh, but I don't, I don't think we're going to get there tonight. I don't, I don't think we're going to get there tonight. So maybe we should stick with siting and massing. They're, they're really, they don't have a lot of option in siting on the site. They've got to put it near the middle of the lot, which they did. It's a relatively small house, which it is. And, 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 it's, and it's lower, it's, 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 a, it's about 27 feet high in a height where there's a zone where you're allowed 30 feet. The roof satisfies your criteria. It's a seven over 12 slope. Um, and the slopes on the porches are all similar to what your guidelines call for, I think. Yeah, I don't think How there's any quibbling over the setting in Nashville. I agree. It's, it's uh, something like to make a motion to approve the setting and massing. I second, second it. Who made the first motion? Oh, I thought you did, Bill. I'll make a motion on plot seven, plot 68, to make a motion to, for, for what, what is this? Um, preliminary sighting and massing. Per, per, yeah, preliminary. Anybody make? Is there a second to the motion? I second it. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying Mark. Aye. Kay. Aye. Arlene. Aye. Mike. Aye. Bill. Aye. Martha. Aye. And I say affirmative. So it's a um, unanimous vote to approve the siting and massing. Um, we'll have some further discussion on the details of the building when they come back for final approval. Do you want to give them some feedback on the windows or any details so they have some ideas? Well, one alternative to that blank wall on the um, east side east side would be to put two faux windows in one on the second floor and one on the first floor what ghost windows you say yeah ghost ghost windows because yeah I can't see how they can have anything the way it's all designed from the inside well, that's why I'm suggesting the ghost windows on the outside. I think they should relook at the inside, the way it's designed, and maybe move things around a little so they can get a window in there. It's certainly a bigger window facing the street. It's very cruel to the neighbors who have kind of nice houses there to have these little dinky windows. 
Well, if you look, I mean, conversely, though, if you look down from this lot, you're looking at the backs of houses. I understand what you're saying, Arlene. I'm just, um, and I, I think you have a point, but also, um, it, what, what's been built up there hasn't been, what's been built to the north of this lot hasn't been with such consideration. In, like the blank wall, it's, it's not like it's a giant wall. It's probably about 12 feet by up because the house is only 23 feet wide and they have the window there. So it's not really a giant wall that's blank. It's just a, it does, I think uh, Bill has a good suggestion. They had that ghost window in the first house when we turn on to Sunset Hill, put a couple of them in. That's just my opinion. It would balance that, that uh, elevation. Just, just to have it said, I think Mark did make a good point. I, I've, I've been driving up there. I've got a job up there, so I've been up there a lot in the last couple of weeks. This is a very small lot and a very small house. Uh, so there, there is something to be taken into consideration, I think, for all of us. When you look at the actual size of the wall, as Mark had said, uh, this isn't uh, a lot of the stuff that we see when they give us a blank wall, where it's just going to stick out like a billboard. This is a very small little it's cottage. A, um, small house doesn't have to be an ugly house. In fact, it could be a very nice house. I, I, I agree with you, Arlene. I agree with you. I, I'm just saying if we, if, if we put it in, in perspective, um, the size of this cottage, I don't think it's going to be quite the eyesore. But um, I, I, that being said to the roses, I think you get the feeling from the board that we'd like to see something with that wall. I think I think we heard that the the ghost windows would might might, might well be acceptable, and that that would probably be the only way to go without a complete redesign of the house, which I don't think Judy wants to do. Well, come back to us with uh, uh, some suggestions. You know, we we we're throwing out ghost windows. Maybe that's the, the way to go. Any further discussion on this application? Let's get a, a, a question about this. Um, is there a, a house at Hardigan built on that lane ever? I thought he did, Martha, but I represented him in 1982. Was they getting <laughs> the same thing? Thing. So I can't tell you for sure. I thought it was this lot. I thought he bought a lot, but I assume since 1982 he had built, maybe he hasn't. I don't know. Well, Mrs. Rose, you're going to have to find a good foundation guy. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion on this uh, application? You're, you're muted, Bill, if you want to ask questions. Well, I was just pointing out... Um, we're just discussing the ghost window ideas. Maybe just do one on the right elevation in the upper area, um, I think is only needed because that's kind of like more of the uh, visual, you know, the lower, I don't think you'd have to do the one on the lower area because it might make it look a little too busy. I um, think that's a good point. Yeah, it's a very narrow wall to begin with. It's only 24 foot wide. You put four windows in, it's going to be very busy. I think if you just do one upper one, that would even things out. I don't, you know, because that's, you know, when you look up at a house, that's the main visual. Um, so uh, I'll leave it at that. Well, come back with uh, a proposal, you know, one window or two windows. Okay. okay. Yep. Look at the front elevation because you might be better off with two, one window on each side of the door, but that's wider and taller, and uh, instead of the four little ones. 
I purposely built a colonial style house because it's a favorite style of mine. And the windows are in the colonial style. Um, anything else would, would spoil the architectural integrity of the house window wise. Well, one window on either side of the door wouldn't spoil it. It would look rather nice. And that's still colonial. Well, let's Again, not, let's not, I, that's, architecturally, let's not redesign the building right now. It's uh, subjective. We, we've given them some indication and they can come back to us with uh, uh, a final approval. Anybody else have any th other issues? I think we've heard these, the ones you've discussed. I think those are the, the pertinent uh, comments. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is the last item on our agenda tonight. Uh, I would entertain, we don't have the any minutes. I would entertain a uh, motion for adjournment. So moved. So moved. So moved. Okay, all in favor, Mark? Yes. Okay. Aye. Arlene? Aye. Um, Bill? Aye. Martha? My last? Yes. No, I'm going to yes. be last, but go ahead. Okay, yes. I. And I, I, I say uh, yes, too. So. And so know, do I. So do I, Bill. Oh, sorry, Mike. I miss <laughs> okay. you. No problem. Hey, it's only 7-Eleven. So, <laughs> good work. Hey, Bill, nice one, did a great Bill, job. One other thing, Bill? Yeah. Maybe on your, your list. Um, just as I haven't been here for a while. And I don't think I've got the timelines mucked up. Um, but uh, our condolences to Arlene for uh, the loss of a yes. pretty good guy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I wanted to I hold it till the end. And if I don't see everybody Please. next meeting, um, it's because we'll have a good thing to say. Uh, yes, there's a very good chance nice. I'll be having a baby in the next meeting. So, uh, you'll, so you'll I may or may not be here. I, I right. will be having a baby. Um, I will be standing there behind the doctor yelling Omaha, Omaha, um, <laughs> hike. Good luck with that. Oh. Okay, we're all set. Okay, well, thank you all. Thank you we'll very you much. Time. Thank you. I'll let you know if we're on Zoom again for next month or if we're in person. As soon as we I know. We're going to be on Zoom for eternity. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Thank you.